Hi, my name is Karen and I am here to give you a very fast tour of Biltrack 50 and what it can do for you. I'm going to go ahead and log in as myself. So once I've logged in, I get a little summary of what happened yesterday. So this grid is showing me what bills had actions yesterday or new bills were introduced. However, this is just highlighting yesterday. So I see, although there was no changes on my marijuana sheet, there's 18 bills in there. So if I'd like to dive in and see all 18, I just click on the topic. It takes me into the whole list. So now I can go through these bills. I can see if any of them are not relevant to me. I can just X out the bills that I'm not interested in. If there's one I would like to see more about, I just click on the bill. That takes me in. Now I can see all the details about the bill. So the basics, the summary, and whatnot, a link right to the legislature, if that's what I want to do. The text of the bill, of course. I can highlight my search terms, which will show me where my words are, any of the words in my search. I've got 36 of my, the words appear 36 times. This bill is all about what I wanted. Uh, but if you have a long bill and you're only meant, your topic is in one section, that can really jump you down very quickly to save you time to evaluate the bill. Uh, so that is the search terms, the action history, just what you would think, vote history, what's gone on. Also a nice little readout of whether it was maybe a little bit partisan, the vote. So you can always check that out. Um, and then links back to this to the state website. Okay, so that is what a bill looks like. I can also look at legislators in similar detail. So all the basic information about them, contact, uh, how to reach out to them, links to other things like where their campaign finance comes from, and other data about them as well. If you ever want to go straight to a bill or straight to a legislator, we've got this search box up at the top. You can put in a bill number or a search term, or you can put in a legislator's last name, take you straight to them. So all of this data is easy to get to and hopefully easy to work with. You can export this out. You can share it several different ways. Uh, you can set up widgets. You can drop this box of bills on your website. Anyone can click and read the bill. If you prefer a different layout, you can make it into a map, and then you can drop the map onto your website. People can click on their state, see just their bills uh, in their state. You can have whatever columns you want here, including custom columns with your own information. So this is completely customizable to make it display just what you need. All right, so that is the basics. We also offer alerts, a daily digest, looks just like that grid in the beginning. Um, so we'll mail you this every day. We'll send you information about hearings coming up, all that kind of thing. So if you see anything here that's interesting to you, we'd love to talk to you more, but thanks for checking this out.